Welcome to Litbit channel. Today we will see the lesson The Beauty uh, Industry by Aldous Huxley. Let us see about the author Aldous Huxley, born in uh, July 26, 1894. He, he, about his education, Huxley studied at Eden College and later attended Balliol College, Oxford, where he earned a Bachelor of Arts in English Literature in 1916. About his career, uh, Hasley was a novelist, essayist, and a critic. He is uh, uh, best known for his uh, novel, Brave New World, in 1932, which critics modernity, technology, and customerism. Throughout his career, he also wrote numerous essays, screenplays, and other novels, exploring novels of philosophy, religion, and human nature. Huxley worked as a teacher, editor, and lecturer, and was involved in the literary and intellectual circles of the time. Huxley's writing style is characterized by its clarity, precision, and wit. He often blended satire with the philosophical inquiry, and works frequently explored the implications of um, scientific advancement and the ethical dilemmas they pose. His keen observations of society combined with a deep understanding of human psychology made his critics both poignant and insightful. He died on November 22, 1963. Let's we see background of the story. During the economic uh, depressions, the American beauty industry defined declines with women spending heavily on personal appearance. Despite financial struggles, American women invest significantly in beauty products and procedures. Contrasting with the European women who faced tighter budget, the, this phenomenon sparked reflections on the industry impact on women's status societal expectations and the dual definitions of internal and external. The writer explores how the beauty industry reflects and shapes cultural values, uh, women empowerment and the pursuits of a true beauty beyond physical appearance. Setting of the story, the story is set in America and Europe, contrasting their cultural attributes uh, towards beauty, America booming uh, beauty industry thrives despite economic hardships with the widespread their advertising and women's continued spending on personal appearance. In contrast, Europe struggles economically limited many women to basic beauty routine due to poverty. Against this backdrop, societal norms are shifting with women becoming increasingly empowered and liberated from traditional roles, redefined femininity and beauty. Historical events in this passage is set against the backdrop of the Great Depression in 1929-1939, highlighting the beauty high industry resilience despite economic hardship while many industries suffered. Beauty reminded a priority reflecting changing the cultural values. This period saw women gaining autonomy and expressing themselves through appearance, marking a shift in gender roles and women's rights. The races of consumer cultures made beauty products more accessible, contributing to evolving beauty standards and the emergence of modern cult of beauty. The other point of view this passage, he highlights the contradictions inherent in the beauty cult while it promotes health and youth, it often overlooks deeper psychological and emotional needs. They advocate uh, for a holistic uh, approach to beauty that considers the individual's inner life and societal conditions that allows for genuine fulfillment. The passage ultimately suggests a belief in the necessity of human harmony between one's outer activities passage ultimately suggests a belief uh, in the necessity of a harmony between so one's outer appearance and the inner self, emphasizing that societal changes are uh, crucial for achieving true beauty. Let's we see outline of the lesson. The American beauty industry remains unaffected by the general trade depressions with women spending around 3 million pounds a week on beauty products. 
Advertisement in American magazines suggested that the beauty industry is a major play comparable to industries like movies and automobiles. After that, the total annual spending on beauty in the US is approximately 156 million pounds. When Europeans spending on beauty is much lower due to poverty, with most European women limited to basic skin care. Despite a lower spending, European expenditure on beauty has increased compared to the past. The increase in spending on beauty is significant globally, but particularly in America. Then the beauty industry growth is not solely linked to increased prosperity, but also reflects societal change, especially in the status of women. Then women now prioritize their appearance despite the economic hardship indicating a shifting in attitude towards physical beauty. There has been a broader societal shift towards acknowledging the right and the duties of the body with less influence from Christian aesthetic ideals. The practical outcomes of the beauty cult remains debatable as it is unclear whether the significant investment of time and money has made women so more beautiful than before. In this page, author delivers the modern beauty campaign is uh, uh, both a success and a failure depending on how one view the result. More women now maintaining youthful appearance along with old ladies becoming rare. The campaign uh, for beauty is linked to health improvements with the ugliness seen as a symptom of decrease and the beauty as a sign of uh, health. After that, artificial beauty achieved through various cosmetic means, real health based beauty. True beauty is not just physical, but it is also influenced by the inner quality such as spirituality and the character. Then psychological ugliness such as stupidity, greed or boredom can detract from the person's external beauty. In this page, author exposes physical beauty can be undermined by emotional or psychological issues like boredom or hardness. Overpainting in contemporary fashions, particularly in Paris, often mask natural beauty. After that, psychological disharmony, often related to sexual or emotional issues, contributes to inner ugliness. Then the beauty cult is fundamentally unsuccessful because it fails spiritual aspects of beauty. True beauty requires a harmonious and fulfilling life, not just um, physical or cosmetic improvements. Then achieving universal beauty is impossible, but reducing ugliness both better social condition is a realistic hope. Thank you viewers. Thanks for watching this video.